All right, math legends, let's see if you can solve this math problem first before I do. And you know the drill. If you know the answer or got the answer or want to explain to me how you got the answer, let me know in the comment section down below. And also, please subscribe to get more challenges like this one. We have five times five inside these parentheses divided by five divided by five. So the first thing I'm thinking of is PAMDAS. So according to PAMDAS, you work within the brackets or the parentheses, or in other words, you start with the parentheses first. So five times five is 25. And I'll write this as a fraction. So 25 over one to make the math easy. And then I bring down the division symbol, the five, the division symbol, and the five. And I wanna turn this five into a fraction and I'll leave this five alone for now, but I would like to turn that into a fraction as well. And so let's go ahead and tackle 25 divided by one or 25 over one divided by five over one. And we're gonna use that method called keep change flip where we'll keep this and then change the division symbol to multiplication. And then lastly, we're gonna flip this fraction. So the one will be written on the top of the fraction and the five will be written at the bottom of the fraction. So it'll be written like this. 25 over 1 times, because we changed the division symbol to multiplication, and then we flip the fraction. So it'll be written 1 over 5. And then you multiply across. So 25 times 1 is 25. And then 1 times 5 is 5. So this can be broken down or simplified further. So 25 over 5 can be simplified further, so let's divide it by five because the top number is 25 is an odd number and five is an odd number. So I just divided by five. So 25 divided by five is five. five. Five times five is 25. And then five divided by five is one. And five over one is five. So then I'll write the five here and I'll write it in a fraction form. And then I'll bring down the division and the five down and I'll turn this five into a fraction. So now we have five divided by one or five over one divided by five over one. And we can use the, the method, the keep change flip method. All you're doing is you're flipping this fraction so the one will go on top of the fraction and the five will go at the bottom of the fraction and this division turns into multiplication. So it'll be written like this. I did run out of space here, so I'll just write it here. Five over one and change the division sign to multiplication and then one over five. And so five times one is five over one times five is five. And so five over five equals one. So your answer is one. And there you go.